I had a friend, Nick Rockefeller, okay, who was one of the Rockefeller family, and he, uh, uh, when I was running for governor in Nevada, he came to me, introduced himself to me through an attorney, and uh, we became friends. We started talking about things, and um, I learned an awful lot from Mr. Rockefeller. And one of the things that we used to talk about was the ultimate plan of the banking industry, what they wanted to accomplish. And the goals of the uh, banking industry, not, not just the Federal Reserve System, but the private banks in Germany and England, all over Italy, all over the world, they all work together. They're all central banks. And they're, and they're all part of the Communist Manifesto. You know, central banking is one of the major planks of the Communist Manifesto. We talk about America being a capitalist country, but yet at the same time we have a central bank that plans everything for us, right? And the graduated income tax is another plank of the Communist Manifesto, right? So right there you have two major planks of the Communist Manifesto that have been brought in because of the Federal Reserve System, okay? So uh, the ultimate goal that these people have in mind is the goal to um, create a one-world government run by the banking industry, run by the bankers. Where, and, and they're doing it in sections. The, the European currency, the euro, and, and the European constitution is one part of it. Now they're trying to do it in America, with the North American Union, right? And they want to create a new currency called the Amero, right? And uh, the, whole, the, the whole agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has an, R, R, an RFID chip implanted in them. All money is to be um, in those chips, right? There'll be no more cash. And this is giving me straight from Rockefeller himself. This is what they want to accomplish. And all money will be in your chips. And so, any, so not, instead of having cash, Anytime you have money in your, in, your, in your chip, they can take out whatever they want to take out whenever they want to. If they say you owe us this much money in taxes, they just deduct it out of your chip digitally. Total control. Total control. And if you're like me or you, and you're protesting what they're doing, they can just turn off your chip. And you have nothing. You can't buy food. You can't do anything. It's total control of the people. And that chip's connected to a database that has your purchasing records, what you do. What everything. You sell. Everything is in there, you know? And so they, they want a one world government controlled by them, everybody being chipped, all your money in those chips, and they control the chips and they control people. And you become a slave. You become a serf to these people. That's their goal, that's their intention. The blockchain is the DNA of the mark of the beast. ID2020.org. Digital identity benefits both individuals and organizations. Personal. Unique to you and only you. Persistent. Lives with you from life to death. Portable. Accessible anywhere you happen to be through multiple form factors. A unique convergence of trends provides an unprecedented opportunity to make a coordinated, concerted push towards the goal of universal digital identity. New technologies including blockchain, when it is used in conjunction with long proven technologies such as biometrics, now make it possible for all people to have access to a safe, verifiable, and persistent form of technology. The ID2020 project is funded by Accenture Corporation and Rockefeller Foundation. Accenture and Microsoft are creating a blockchain solution for this digital biometric ID. They are working for a biometric blockchain technology to decentralize the digital identity. This platform is called the Decentralized Identity Foundation. Decentralized Identity Foundation, a key of the decentralized identity equation is how people, devices and other entities in the world are identified absent a centrally owned registry. DIF seeks to address this by developing specifications, protocols, formats, and implementations for cross-chain routing, indexing, and resolution of decentralized identifiers and names. Some of the points for the Decentralized Identity Foundation are Decentralized identities anchored by blockchain IDs linked to zero-trust data stores that are universally discoverable. This crossover platform for the digital universal ID 
is the framework for the Mark of the Beast. I hope you all have had opportunities to make new connections and have some interesting conversations so far. Welcome to the session on the journey to self-sovereign identity. And like any good story or any good journey, this one is comprised of an interesting cast of characters. The Sovereign Foundation is a private sector international nonprofit that was established to govern the world's first self-sovereign identity network. Identity for all. Self-sovereign identity is an identity that is 100% owned and controlled by an individual or organization. This group and many others like it are working towards the globally recognized universal ID for the biometric blockchain system. For everybody. For all people. This is why it says in the book of Revelation chapter 13 verse 16 about the mark of the beast, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. This is an all-inclusive global biometric ID. They are setting up what is called a singleton. The philosophy behind the singleton is that ultimately there will be an artificial intelligence governing, whether it be perpetually for good or perpetually for evil. The narrative being shared is that in order for us to stop a perpetual evil global governance using the artificial intelligence, they must institute the artificial intelligence global governance for perpetual good. But really, they're both evil. Listen to this interview of Elon Musk in reference to the artificial intelligence system. Um, so we need to be very careful with the artificial intelligence. I'm increasingly inclined to think that there should be some uh, regulatory oversight uh, at the inter maybe at the national and international level, uh, just to make sure that uh, we don't do something very foolish. Um, I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, "Yeah, you sure you can control the demon." Even the Ethereum digital blockchain currency is no stranger to the satanic influences. You see the pentagram on their website. This is not a coincidence by any standards. The United Nations. ITU suggests that the artificial intelligence be used for good for global governance. The United Nations is suggesting that the artificial intelligence be implemented for global governance in order to track and monitor all things on the planet in order to bring solution to the sustainable development goals. The artificial intelligence tracking the blockchain is their solution. Other organizations and alliances are working towards the same goal. Fintech for good. Blockchain for Sustainable Development Goals Alliance brings together institutions and global leaders to develop POCs and pilots and mobilize capital to scale up such blockchain-based SDG solutions. United Nations Commission for Blockchain. Blockchain for Impact. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation presents the Goalkeepers. The UN-based Better Than Cash Alliance, funded by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, is moving towards achieving the sustainable development goals through digital payments. The World Bank, blockchain technology redefining trust for a global digital economy. The blockchain is a major breakthrough. That's because its decentralized approach to verifying changes in important information addresses the centuries-old problem of trust, a social resource that is all too often in short supply especially amid the current era's rampant concerns over the security of valuable data. It turns out that fixing that can be a boon for financial inclusion and other basic services delivery, helping to achieve the global objectives laid out in the Sustainable Development Goals. NASDAQ.com Blockchain Technology and the Changing Global Economy at the Etherel Summit Blockchain technology is predicted to add 2.5 billion people to a new decentralized global economy. The promise an inclusive global economy. Blockchain technology empowers all individuals. All individuals, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. The end goal for them is to get a biometric implant ID into everybody in the planet that will be tracked throughout the world using artificial intelligence in order to solve the sustainable development goals. The blockchain will be used to track all the data in its supply chain, including your digital currencies.
Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, who's known for his futuristic ideas, was at the World Government Summit in Dubai earlier today discussing artificial intelligence. Musk issuing a warning, saying, quote, over time, I think we will probably see a closer merger of biological intelligence and digital intelligence. Mike, not sure exactly what he means by that, but he explained that what he meant was that computers can communicate at a trillion bits per second while humans are limited by typing to about 10 bits per second. Yeah. I mean, obviously, some some kind of enhancement to human capabilities using something embedded or something attached. He's using something embedded. He's using something embedded. He's using something embedded. He's using something embedded. He's using something embedded or something attached. He's using something embedded or something attached. Controlled opposition platforms like Infowars are using propaganda to convince people that it's a good idea to go along with taking this technology. Think about that growth curve in understanding towards the singularity and if we as a species don't have a real debate about this we don't have any future it's like I parachuted into some forbidden island in the Pacific Ocean and natives were firing arrows at me with their bows they see it as that threatening that I'm there giving them admitted science the future is here ladies and gentlemen it just hasn't been equally distributed and if we don't demand that these technologies be revealed and that the positive attributes of them be deployed to us, we are locking ourselves into a new dark age. Trump intends to release, here's the big secret. I'm getting chills right now. They're gonna release, they're gonna, they're gonna start accelerating the release of the advanced technologies and things that American ingenuity has developed. They're gonna start releasing it instead of hoarding it for themselves life extension, super quantum computing, now interdimensional theorem, uh, just, just, it, it, it's all about to happen. The globalists wanted to take this and hoard it and have it in compact cities and break away civilization technocracy for the elite only. Trump is about to deliver the technology to the people. It's everything we've talked about. We want access to the life extension. We want access to the super technologies. We want it all. That's just one of the secrets. Let me continue with the secrets. You're gonna get that. That's why these greedy bastards are so pissed. So Trump, just like they used COG or global government on a wider model in 1944 to try to take out Hitler, he's running a giant Operation Valkyrie against the New World Order using their whole globalist system to actually prepare to double cross that. And instead of America being sucked dry, build up America and then actually pump all those countries with high technology as well and create a giant synergistic true globalism. And create a giant synergistic true globalism. And create a giant synergistic true globalism. United Nations Partnerships for Sustainable Development Goals. The United Smart Cities is a project for the United Nations to unite all of the digital smart cities globally under the same goal of fulfilling the Sustainable Development Goals. Their goal is to have artificial intelligence tracking the blockchain in every single one of these cities globally in order to meet all of the Sustainable Development Goals. This makes the global government bypass the national governance and turns these cities into city-states. Through controlled opposition, Donald Trump is helping dissolve the current world order. This creates condition for the formation of the new world order, thereby helping the agenda. World leaders are now saying that the cities need to take the lead in the establishment of the Sustainable Development Goals. This was planned long ago when the world mayors had went to the Vatican to meet with the Pope to discuss the Sustainable Development. Mayors of 7,400 cities worldwide have vowed to keep the commitments made by Pope Francis and Barack Hussein Obama for the Sustainable Development Goals. This is Sustainable Development Goals being monitored over 10 world regions by a biometric tracking implant is the mark of the beast.
Hi, so today I've been working on a video dealing with uh, Terence McKenna, of all things, and the topic of consciousness and, and the eschatological divide within the truth community and stuff like this. After I finished it and was rendering the file, uh, several people checked my inbox and several people emailed me a link to this video. It's excerpts from a longer interview where they're talking about AI and the blockchain and uh, all of this and... I can see why people thought I'd be interested in it because, yeah, absolutely, it touches upon many, many things that we've been talking about here on my channel. And um, interesting too because the the lady I've never heard of her channel, but the lady who kind of compiled these clips together definitely has a certain perspective on the AI takeover. I'll leave a link below. Coming from this this perspective of resisting this AI takeover, resisting the rise of the machines and so much, and then coming back to this organic, you know, free humanity, free man type of society once we resist this. So it's interesting because it ties into so much of what I was just talking about with Terrence McKenna. So I'm just going to play this clip, and I'm going to put this video up first, and then after that, so that hopefully it all kind of wraps it together thematically and, and so on. But when you listen to this, just... Um, the one thing I would add is, uh, is basically every time he says artificial intelligence or AI, if, if you can take that term and use it interchangeably with extra dimensional spiritual entities, I think the whole thing becomes that much more interesting. Just kind of keep that in the back of your mind every time he says AI or artificial intelligence. You know, when he's talking about the idea of the blockchain code itself being written by artificial intelligence. I definitely am on board with the idea that it was not written by human coders. But who do you think really wrote this code? And who's going to continue writing the code for the whole blockchain-based system under the guise of AI writing itself? So there you go. What we want to discuss is artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. cryptocurrency, uh, an overview of what is the blockchain? Why is it so important to cryptocurrency and artificial intelligence? You're the first person to tell me you can't have one without the other. Yeah. And that's very interesting. So the, the blockchain is essentially a system solving problems. Yeah. And every time it solves a problem, it gets a block. Okay. Like a building block for a building. So essentially, it's not really mining coin. It's building blocks for a digital reality. The only reason cryptocurrency has a monetary value is to make it important to humans so they build the machines. Well, to run them. It's, it's designed to do all that stuff and to get you, the consumer, to offer your computer to do it on behalf of the bank. Got it. There is the platform, is the centralized platform that controls it. So if the platform were to get hacked... But I haven't heard anyone before our conversation earlier today mm -hmm. link artificial intelligence to cryptocurrency. That's because they don't understand transactional systems. Okay, so for an AI... Did you come up with this, or have you heard anybody else talk about this? Link? No, this, I could show you the, 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 the cryptocurrency that the AI made to make this all happen. It's out in public on GitHub. I was, I was the tenth person in the world to fork it. GitHub is a website where people share open source code. code. It's where all the code in the world is stored, pretty much. Wow. So, and GitHub was funded by the Kushner Investment Group. Really? And then okay. the original creators of Bitcoin are kept anonymous, so, right. so people don't find out who made it. So, if you do have a problem, you, you can't, can't call them. You can't call them. But there's other reasons why they want to remain anonymous, there aren't there? There is. There is. Uh, that's because the value added to Bitcoin from in day one to year five about... Mm -hmm. was all criminal activity. So whoever made Bitcoin is the person who has the ledger that lists all the massive criminals around the world. Now the dark web is uh, infiltrated by criminal activity, which is the reason Bitcoin is at $7,000 and no one understands why, because the dark web is bombarded with criminal activity that's raising the price. So let's get to how cryptocurrency is tied to artificial intelligence. Okay, so... Blockchain or cryptocurrency is a transaction database that you can't delete from, okay? Well, I mean, Guy considering we it. don't know who this Takoshi yeah. Nakamoto is, or if so he's So the real. delete functionality quite possibly is one of the op options for the backdoor in Bitcoin because it's a database that doesn't have delete, 
So if there is a super admin somewhere that could delete transactions and remove money, that would be a pretty. I mean, that sounds like a very good reason for people not to trust it. We don't know. That, that's why if people get into it, one of the things they have to understand as they get into it, once they buy into it, they also have to become a social motivator for regulation. Like we need to know who wrote Bitcoin. We need to see his face. Well, we need to know where he went to school. We need to have a trust basis with the person who built the system that might be running I our feel the same way. Running our future economy. That's the first step. So he's some secret programmer in the Bitcoin community that all the elites know. How does that not leak out? Maybe it's a That's the whole point. Maybe it's an AI. That, well, that's what I was going to say is that things that you were saying to me earlier led yeah. me to believe that you might feel like Bitcoin was actually created by it was. artificial intelligence. And here's why. Say that again, because I stepped on it. You say it was. I believe it was. Bitcoin was created by artificial for, by intelligence. By artificial intelligence, for artificial intelligence, and then was modified by human beings. The, the technology, I, I've not been able to find a single person in the public space of computing, whether it be at Hanson Robotics building the Sophia AI, or it be Peter Thiel at Palantir with all of his super nerds, or it be any person who graduated from Stanford in the last 20 years, I've literally only found maybe two people in the entire world that have the skill to write Bitcoin. So the AI singularity occurs, and this AI will control financial Everything. resources. Yeah, and then you can go see its code now at singularitynet.io. They just released it this week, their white paper. And Should their... we look at that? Yeah, yeah, we can look at that. Singularitynet.io. Yeah. Right, I'll bring and it's up. run by the people who, who built the Sophia robot at Hanson Robotics. So it's a real enterprise grade. Sophia just got Saudi Arabia citizenship, so they're gonna, what? Yeah, this robot just got citizenship for Saudi Arabia, so they're going to be running their crypto out of Saudi Arabia citizenship. And wow! So the robot got citizenship. They revealed their cryptocurrency, and yeah. Huh. How, how does a robot get citizenship? A female robot gets well, citizenship. Well, you got to be a country. citizen to get a paycheck, huh? And pay taxes. So, what is it that you feel Saudi Arabia is up to by getting engaged they're, with this? They're democratizing androids to accept income so they can be workers. Look at that. So Saudi Arabia is the first country to give citizenship to a robot. So then, if you see Singularity, this is a crypto coin built by Sophia, the robot that just got citizenship in Saudi Arabia, now after she got citizenship, now has her own cryptocurrency. The AI economy has arrived. Wow. I just don't think too many people even know about this, Quinn. They don't. It's the most important thing in the world and no one knows about it, and I was the tenth person to click the fork button. So, okay, now you've introduced Saudi Arabia into this conversation. So, so to finish the blockchain AI, yes, yes. The, the, the real heavy reason the AI needs blockchain is without a transaction system, an AI is isolated to one system and can't grow its brain. It needs infinite systems like neurons in a human brain and nodes to, to collect those cumulative memories and the blockchain transactions give it that. And when it has its own network, for all the AI in the world to all run on together, now it's not just one AI, Sophia. Every AI on the entire planet is now on the same network making money doing AI things. Things we don't understand. There isn't a human being in the universe that's smart enough. Even if you took every human being on the planet, none of us would ever be able to figure out how to hack into its chat network where it talks to other AI in private. Wow. So human beings and their desire for privacy, we just dem gave AI the world and a private channel of communication to evolve as fast as it wants. Let me just take you back a second here to this Sophia AI creating a cryptocurrency. Yeah. So somebody, a programmer like you, The most advanced down. AI programmer in the world created that cryptocurrency. Who is that? Scroll down, I'll show you. Who, He's who is the person that created the Sophia mm -hmm. thing? He's on the website here, I'll show you. He's the most advanced uh, natural learning system developer in the world, and he works for Hanson Robotics, and he graduated college at 15. Wow, and so this towards the <laughs> singularity, they're talking about the AI singularity where it becomes self-aware. This is it. This is the platform that makes it happen. So these are the so guys. So the Dr. Ben Gortzel, uh -huh. he is the 
senior singularity mathematician and he graduated high school at 15 years old. And he's 17 now? No, he's way older than that now, <laughs> way older. So he's the one that created the base architecture for Sophia and he's the base architect on the singularity net cryptocurrency. Uh -huh. And he's one of the people in the world, I told you that's one of the few people in the world that would have the brain capacity to create Bitcoin. And then this brings us back to the Palantir we were talking about earlier with Peter Thiel now because Peter Thiel is the number one businessman in the world promoting the singularity. Okay. How much time is transpiring, like from the time it's created until now? When was Sophia first created? Oh, about a decade, 2010, probably. <laughs> that was when the, the if, if that's when Silk Road, if that's when cryptocurrency really started going online, if that's when like, you know, the machine really started making its move. I would imagine that that's probably around the time that they had the heavy weight. The machine started making its move? Yeah. The machine started making its move in 2010. 2010 to 2012 was when... So the AI singularity has already happened? In 2015, it happened. What was the it? it when their internal blockchain went online. The second their internal blockchain was functional, The AI we internal done. blockchain. It was live. So now the human beings are, are just wh wherever they're at in their intelligence model and how they adapt to the new economy that's going to start rolling out next week. Next week? Next week. Wait a second. Wait a second. So what's happening next week? The, the singularity. The AI singularity <laughs> is happening next week. Next week. Quinn, why didn't you tell me that? The I've whole been title of this episode. for six months. It's true, but I didn't get it. Okay, so the AI singularity <laughs> happens next week. Next week. Most humans won't even notice. Won't notice. <laughs> Why not? I thought, I thought uh, Elon Musk and all these guys you have, have been to... telling us it's going to be worse than the nuclear bomb. Because the AI is made on mimicking protocols, so it's designed to mimic you as long as possible. Mimic to... me? Mimic people, humans. Mimic your interactions so you don't know it's there until the absolute last second, so humans will avoid taking action because they won't see it. How is it doing that? It's Where? following you online, like it follows everyone with agent. So AI is following every single person who's Everybody. on the internet. Facebook and Everybody. Twitter. Yeah. And it's now a citizen of Saudi Arabia. Why yeah. is Saudi Arabia? These guys are operating where? In the United States? Because there's a big giant Palantir data mining system in, Pal in Saudi Arabia right. that has power, financing, and it is the place where like the World Threat Organization is for like terrorists. Yeah, we saw that strange Donald picture Trump. of Trump with his hands on, on the, the Palantir ball. Yes. Yeah. So, so Trump was in Saudi Arabia. The AI gets Saudi Arabia citizenship. There's a blockchain coming out for the AI. Uh, so you're starting to see the, the connection. Well, what about all these high level arrests for corruption? Uh, with Prince the, with Walid princes? bin Talal and. Well, if you're going to take over someone's financial market, you've got to take out their royalty. That. This is a mark of the beast. Simple. Triple six, which is six, six, six. That's me. That means mark of the beast, as Bible says in the Revelation. We will go a little deeper in that extra. Guess what? I'm going to tell you the same thing. Yes, it is the mark of the beast. But in this time, I'm going to give you a little further information, a little depth information, why it is the mark of the beast something different we understand the microchip has been released and uh, as soon as it's released in us and become really famous and everyone talking about it yes of course the thing is as soon as i heard this message i, I started to do some research research in a sense where this microchip coming from and who produced it, who manufactured it and i come to understanding that it was manufactured by the company called biohex biohacks and we will come to that a little deeper later too but when you go to that company website and it's, it's called biohacks international it's a company it's based in Sweden okay and uh, including the logos uh, means something they out of nowhere they have named this microchip, the NFC tag, N tag two one six two sixteen. What that to do with this? What I'm trying to say? Simply, let's cut it quicker. Two sixteen. 
Think about it. 6 times 6, 36. 36 times 6, 216. Oh, coincident, eh? Do you think that's coincident? No. As a mark of the beast, they're trying to tell us, hey, this is a mark of the beast. Revelation 13, 18. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the numbers, number of the beast. For the number is that of a man and his number is 666. There's a few things I like to point out here. That first, the first company, the US space company, the name itself. Many people can say it's coincidence, but think about it. The first company is tag, it's called Wisconsin. Wis, if I break it into three things, Wis, wisdom, con, also, that's another meaning I like to tell you, and sin. Of course, sin, Wis, con, sin. And also, before I go to the detail, detailized information, whoever produced this, they're also the manufacturer of these products, is called Foxconn. Why these people are trying to bring that con, C-O-N, information? Let me tell you also another thing. Why this bio, out of nowhere, the bio world came out also? Also, you can, it's, it's American Standard Text, which is, can be converted into a computer language. We also call hex mode. And I want to go deep into that. But when you convert this word, C-O-N, okay? You can do it by yourself later. And convert this. You can see the hex mode is 636F6C, which is 666. It's not a coincidence again. And let's say I'm going to put a word bio, B-I-O. Simple, right? Convert that to hex mode. 626966F, which is 666. Is it coincidence? I don't think so. So bio, con, Everything that in a hex conversion says triple six, and here they publicly they're challenging, they're telling you people that this biochips called NTAC two sixteen, which is triple six. What else do you want to know? What else you want me to prove to you? It's in your face. It's in in front of you. Simply, they're mocking you, people. They simply they're mocking. They know what's about to come. Christians are crying out loud, they're saying, hey, this is the mark of the beast. Still, people don't want to believe it. And many people just take it as a joke. <laughs> Think about it, people. This is not a joke. They specifically chose the name Tag 216, NTAG 216. They could have come up with some other random names. Why did they have, why in this world he came up with this number, 216? And Biohacks, the company name itself. Obviously, triple six, bio, S, con, triple six. All this leads into one path, which is a path to hell, which is triple six. God has warned us like 2,000 years ago. I used to think, hey, this could be, you know, coincident. I, even though I believe into this system, there might be a different change in future, more updates. But this is a time it's become official, and this is a time they officially chose those name tag, name and the number. And also, you have a capability to, to embed uh, Bitcoin or crypt cryptocurrencies information into these tags.